Hey there everybody, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you, but before we begin, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below to get notified of all upcoming videos on the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell as well. And now, before we get over to the tutorial, let's hit the subscriber wall. And joining us on the subscriber wall today is ZMX. ZMX, welcome to the channel, welcome for, uh, to everything, thank you for subscribing and thank you for commenting and everything, so ZMX, thank you for doing what you do. And now, off to the tutorial. And for today's tutorial, we are going into Germany to build ourselves a German vehicle, and today we are starting off with the Panzer IV auf See, a German World War II medium tank, so let us begin. So. We are come over here and grab our materials. Our materials today will be Paul Sandersite, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, stone stairs, stone, stone slabs, andersite wall, waxed exposed copper, and nether brick wall. All right, so let us begin. I'm gonna start right here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip three and do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Next, we're going to take our stone brick slabs and do one, two, three, four. All right, now we're going to put our placeholders down. You can use anything as a placeholder. I just like to use a block that uh, you can see. All right, so now we're going to put our slabs half a block up. Alrighty, there we go. Just like so. On the back, we're going to add another slab. But on the front, we're going to add our stone brick stairs. Right there. Next, we're going to use our polished intersight and do one, two, three, four. Just like so. Next, we're going to take our stone brick slabs and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like so. Now take your stone stairs and we're going to knock out every fourth one, I mean every other one, like this. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put upside down stone stairs of one, two, three, four to get our return rollers at the top. There we go. Now onto the other side, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and replace with upside down stone stairs. One, two, three, four. And there you go, your track section and suspension system is complete. So now we can get rid of these materials. Now remember folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. So let us continue. Next, we're gonna start on the front of the vehicle with one, two, three stone stairs. Come on inside and do one, two, three, four, and do the floor. Just like so, all the way to here. Next, we're going to take our stone and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then have a small gap there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like so. On the back here, we're going to do our wax explosive copper for our exhaust system, which is one, two, and then one of the nether brick wall. And then you can get rid of those materials. Next, we shall do the next layer. Starting right here, we're going to do put a block here and then a block up. Here we're going to put a slab, put a placeholder, and then an upside down stone stair like this. Next we'll remove these two blocks for your inside. In fact, we can even do a little bit of interior work here by putting stairs here and removing these blocks and then put slabs here and here. And we'll cut off this and put the engine block wall here. In fact, we'll do a little engine work and replace those with some stone stairs. You can put an engine there if you want. Uh, just use a couple of anvils. All right, next we're going to put a uh, stone stair here and here. And then we're going to do four stone blocks. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then we're going to cut off the section of one, two, three, like so. And here we'll do another one, two, three, one, two, three. 
so it should have something looking like this. Next, we're going to use our stone stairs and do one, two, three. And one, two, three upside down stone stairs. Now we're going to add stone slabs right here. And then we're also going to do stone slabs here, like so. And that should be your bottom hole. And now we will add the turret. For the turret, I'm going to do one, two blocks right here. Two more upside down stone stairs right here for the gun mantlet. One block here, but actually we're going to change it up a bit so you can get more room in the turret. We're going to do upside down stairs like so. We're going to even put one block there for the gun breach. Next, we are going to add um, slabs right there. And then we're going to put one, two stairs there with one full block there. Next, we're going to do more stairs of one, two, three, and four. Just like so. And you can put two slabs on either side of there. And that will give us our turret. And now we'll add the short barreled 75 or 7.5 centimeter gun right here. And that should do it for the base build. Next, we shall move on to cosmetics. Alright, for our cosmetics, we will be needing oak sign, light gray carpet, iron trapdoor, dark oak trapdoor, dark oak button, nether brick fence, iron bars, wax exposed copper trapdoor, and chain. Alright, so we're going to start off with our iron trapdoors and do one, two, three on the bottom here. One, two, right there. One, two, three, right there. And then in the rear, we shall do one, two, right there. And then we'll do a little bit of the interior work later. Alright, so next, we shall take our waxed exposed copper trapdoors and put it right on top of the exhaust here. And you can get rid of those. Your chain is going to go right here for your MG. There we go. Next, we'll add our dark oak trapdoors for our hatches. So, two right there. One, two right there. We're going to have one on top, so we're going to crouch to place this and then place it right there. So that way it opens like that. And then for the engine compartment, we're going to put them in like this, so they open like this. Actually, for the Panzer 4C, we can do placeholders here and raise it up one, so that way it's slightly exposed. So that way you can open it up like this and still get into your engine. There we go. Next we're going to add, we're going to actually replace these with iron right here and here. And then add some trapdoors there and there. So that way you can still get into the crew compartment if it was realistic. Alright, and then we're going to add one more trapdoor right here. So we can get rid of that for now, I think, or we'll just keep it. All right, then another brick fence right here for our antenna mount, and then one, two, three iron bars for your antenna. All right, next we shall do our light gray carpet. We'll put one here, and one, two here. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the front. In fact, we'll add another trapdoor here just to kind of a beef it up a bit, make it even. All right, next we're going to take our oak sign and do one, and a two, three, four, five, and six. Right there. All right, next we're going to take our dark oak buttons and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the engine deck, we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, now let's do a one check around, make sure we got everything. I think we did. And now, we shall do a little interior work.
All right, so for the interior, we're gonna grab. Uh, I'm just gonna grab uh, some dark oak fence gates. So we're gonna hop on inside. We're gonna have the dark oak fence gates right there, and I don't think there is no coax right there, but. Let's see, can we add a trapdoor here for the gun breach? Yes, we can. There we go, now we need some stowage in here for the ammunition. Let's grab ourselves, uh, we'll grab some barrels, just, there we go, in there. Just put some ammunition in there and everything. Not really much we can do in here. Uh, maybe we can put a tripwire hook right there. I don't know what form, or right there. I don't know, just something. And that's about all the interior work we can get out of this little Panzer IV. So I believe we are done. And with that, you have successfully completed the Panzer IV Aufsee German World War II medium tank. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new addition to my window. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, uh, we forgot something. I knew we forgot something. We're going to need glass pane. And item frame. All right, glass pr item frame here and here, and then glass pane here and here. That's why you always do a final check. All right, now you have successfully completed the German World War II Panzer IV FC. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love an addition of my bundle of wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the community. It means a lot to the channel. And speaking of the community, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button down below. And don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next. Or if you'd like a shout out. Or just tell me how your day's going. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!